All right, now we're going to go ahead and replace the uh, supercharger belt, okay? This is the, uh, the front pulley right here is for the supercharger uh, belt. This is the pulley to the supercharger. And the pulley in the back is uh, the one that wraps around and then goes through your swing arm pressed by this huge spring right here. You put your half-inch uh, ratchet right here and you swing this arm out to bring this belt out of there. Now, before you do that, you have to go to the back. Go to the back and remove, you gotta remove this assembly. This is where you add your oil and this is your dipstick. By the way, this dipstick was, got broken. It's gotta be replaced. So this whole assembly, this is the hose. Once you add your oil, the hose goes down here to the oil pan. So remove those two tents, number 10 right there. Go to the other side below the hose. You see all those two tents? remove those two over there and this whole assembly will be released so you can lift it up and stuff the back of your belt right there it's going to look like this okay i remove the two in the back sorry about the camera i think the camera turned uh sides uh the two in the starboard side the two on the port side don't forget to remove this little 5 16th which is holding your um a dipstick uh, guide, okay? The dipstick tube, it's being held by this 516. Once you do that, this whole assembly is loose. So now you can stuff your belt back there, bring it around, right? And in order to put it through the uh, tensor pulley or the roller, you have to put your half inch uh, ratchet and press this spring, swing this arm around to get to this uh, side of the belt. Now, tip for you, don't forget to put your belt upward in the right position. Don't go like that. Don't go like this. It's got to be the numbers and the name and everything is got to be straight up. That's the, the way the belt goes. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my camera on the other motor and try to take as much as I can. You won't be able to see everything, but you will have an idea. Okay, okay so this is the best way I can put the camera. Sorry for the angle but this is the best I can do. Now that you, I can show you, I sh that now that I did show you from the top what was going on, you will have an idea. So now I see that my belt is in the right position. Where are the numbers? Numbers are right there. Yes, I'm straight up. So I'll go ahead and move this uh, assembly out, move the dipstick a little and stuff my, stuff my belt in the back first. Go ahead and put it in the back. I'm gonna use two hands here, okay, and go around. Okay, my belt, it's in position right there, okay? So now I'm ready to bring my breaker bar or um, what do you call the, uh, your um, ratchet and just swing this arm right like so. And now you can finish putting your belt in there, right? Go around the Go around the, uh, I'm doing it with my leg here, so bear with me. Going around here, around there, going around here, put my belt in the front pulley, make sure it's right in the back of the pulley, all the uh, ribs of the belt are engaging, and now I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let this uh, ratchet go slowly, boom, take this out, boom. Your belt is installed, okay? Put this bracket back on with your four bolts, and uh, this cover goes on the top. I forgot to mention that. This cover goes here. So take your uh, cap off, take your uh, filling uh, dipstick off, and this goes here. Let me, let me go ahead and put it with you while you're there. I'm taking my dipstick, I'm taking my cap off, and it goes like that. Obviously, I'm gonna take it again back off because I gotta put those bolts in the back, okay? So that's it, that's how you install the supercharged belt. All right, very important tip, very important tip. Uh, at this time, I just removed my mic, so uh, I'm just talking to the phone, I hope you can hear me. Um, when you remove this assembly, you took those two bolts out, the other two bolts out, and the 516 for your dipstick, and this is loose. When you go, you're gonna take it off to stuff your belt under by taking it out of the tap, um, out of this tab, right? So you're gonna take it out like so and bring it up so you can work on your belt, right? Stuff it in there and everything. When you're done, don't forget to put, 
to put this uh, tab back under with the rubber and everything, just like so. Okay, right, there you go. Now your two bolts align, everything aligned, but this goes under. If you leave it on top, you will bend this tab, okay? All right, now uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, oil filters. There is nothing to it, so I'm gonna make this really short. I have the camera on my hand because it's very hard to put it up there, all the way up there. But anyway, top of the motor, left side or port side. Let's go to the top of the motor, right? I'm gonna get you dizzy on this one. This is your oil filter. And the part number is right there. Let me clean it. Cleaned. Okay, part number right there. Okay, little bit of marine grease on the bottom. Don't forget to date it. See, if you put a flashlight on this, you can really see January 2023, just in case. Put it on and uh, just, you know, take it off with a regular tool. Put it on and just please, please, by hand, tighten this thing as hard as you can by hand please by hand let me see did i say that i can't say that enough every time you put the oil filter please tighten it by hand three times my god all right let's go and add some oil and then we go to the next all right so i already installed the propeller the left-handed propeller on the left side the right on the right uh don't go crazy on this propeller shaft trying to find that little hole at the end of the threads to put the safety, the stainless safety pin on it because this propeller shaft don't have that. Just put your spacers, torque real hard, torque your, uh, your prop nut and you're good to go, okay? All right, last but not least, you have the uh, zinc anodes. One on each uh, plate on top of your uh, prop. You need uh, Allen, big, huge Allen. Uh, I think I, I brought it with me. It's, uh, let me see if I can give you the number. Uh, the number is this guy here. I'm working with one hand, so bear with me, yes. The number is a uh, 10. And number 10, right here for this plate, Allen, uh, Allen uh, wrench or Allen uh, socket. You can put it there, replace this zinc. Then you have another one on each one of the trim units. Uh, on the sides of each one of the rams, the hydraulic rams, one here, one there, one in the center, this one, and then a long one on the engine bracket right here. This is number 10, number 10, 10, number 10. These two are 10, and these guys are torques, believe it or not. So you're gonna need torques for this one, all right? Those are the things you're gonna replace, and uh, you'll be good to go.